in yesterday's session uh, in the previous session we have discussed about uh, uh, absolute expert see initially uh, if you want to do any sort of automation we will be doing two steps one is identifying the element the other one is performing action on the element what we identified identify the element and perform action on the elements what we identified to identify the elements there are eight different ways to identify the elements there are eight diff uh, different ways id name link text export uh, css selector class name tag name and partial link text right if you have id we will go with id or else we will go with name or else with link text or else we will use export again in the export there are different kinds one is absolute export and another one is relative export see by using absolute export we used to identify the elements let me recap that go to queerinformatics.com slash sample dot html I need to identify this element right click inspect yes single click here and press ctrl f html slash body slash input of one uh, if I want the checkbox input of four but if some elements gets added will this X path will identify if some elements gets added if this X path will identify no and I have given you this as a homework also right click inspect to identify the single select drop down I have given you the homework am I correct yes now um, if I want to identify this HTML slash body under this body I need to go to this table tag I need to go to this particular table because when I mouse over when I mouse over on that table this uh, when I mouse over on this table it is highlighting so that give slash table but it shows five matching nodes out of all the five it is highlighting the first one this first one is highlighting your single select drop down this first one is highlighting your single select drop down no his second one is highlighting no his third one no his fourth one is highlighting your uh, drop down yes yes so that you go to the fourth one out of that i need now it shows one of one if i don't give this four it shows all five so that i am giving us four here under this I need to go to T body slash T body under this T body I need to go to TR slash TR under TR I need to go to slash TD TD of 1 because it shows two TDs I need single select drop down under this TD of 1 I need to go to select okay this is about how to identify this uh, single select how to this is the expert to identify that single select drop down take down this into your notes quickly next we will see the next one next homework Next, open this demo.actitime.com. Yeah. Yes. It's going on. Next, I need to enter. Uh, sorry. I need to identify this username text box. Right click inspect. This is the source code of that element. Press Ctrl F HTML slash 
body under this body tag i need to go to this table tag slash table under table i need to go to t body slash t body t body under this t body i need to go to this tr slash tr under tr i need to go to this td slash td under this td i need to go to this table slash table since it shows one matching node i don't want to do anything under this t table i need to go to t body slash t body under t body i need to go to this tr slash tr when i go to tr it shows two matching nodes first one or second one under this tr i need to go to td slash under this td i need to go to div under this div i need to go to table under table i need to go to t body under t body i need to go to tr under this tr there are many tds to go to the second td see when i go put slash td it shows many matching was four one two see when i come to two or four it is highlighting my target element username text box that's why i need to go to td of two under this i need to go to div slash div under this div i need to go to table slash table under table i need to go to t body slash t body under t body i need to go to this particular tr there are many trs i need to go to this particular tr how to go to this tr slash tr but it shows uh, seven matching nodes i want the sixth one under the sixth one i need to go to table slash table sorry under tr i need to go to td under the td i need to go to this table slash table but it shows three matching nodes out of that i need the first one under this table i need to go to t body slash t body under this t body i need to go to tr slash tr td under this td i need to go to table slash table under table i need to go to slash t body under t body i need to go to slash tr under tr i need to go to td under td i need to go to slash input that's it. this is the x path this is the this is the x path this is the final x path for that element absolute x path for that element this is the final x path for that element anyhow i have struggled and i have identified tomorrow when there is a small structural change in the page will this x path will identify no this x path won't identify when there is a small structural change in the page in this page this x path won't identify that's why we won't use this absolute x path that's why we won't use this absolute x path and we are going to learn the relative x path absolute x path can be used for small and static pages absolute x path can be used for small and static pages See, absolute x path can be used for small and static pages. Take down this into your notes. Next, we'll see about relative x path. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, there is specific reason. I'll tell you about that later. Okay. Next. Take down heading as relative ex, uh, relative export. We are going to see about relative export. Relative export. Out of that, there are different kinds. First one using attributes. You will not understand what I am writing, but just take down this. I will make you to understand. Take down this. Next. I want to use this syntax and I want to identify this username text box. My goal is to identify this username text box. If I do right click and inspect, I have got the source code. Imagine that there is no ID and there is no name for this element uh, and it is not a link also to identify the link text. And it is not a link also to identify the link text. In that case, I have to use XPath. But if I use absolute XPath, uh, actually absolute export should not be used that's why we are going to do we are going to learn about relative export right now relative export now follow my syntax and tell me what is the export for this username text box just follow my syntax double forward slash put double forward slash what is the html tag for this element input just give it as input here yes input open brace at the rate what are the attributes this element is having type, type attribute class. class attribute placeholder attribute you can give any attribute i am going to give type equal to text type equal to text copy this and paste it yes but it is showing us two matching nodes it is showing us two matching nodes but i don't want two don't use type in that case what is the other attribute what i am having i am having class equal to text field now check it should show one matching node no still it is showing two matching nodes give some another attribute in that case don't give this attribute what is the other attribute what i have placeholder placeholder equal to username now it will show one matching node surely placeholder equal to username you have to pick some unique attribute and attribute value sir what if there is no unique attribute what to do that we will see later okay as of now you have to pick the unique attribute and you have to pass it so that's it take the Next, I want to identify the, uh, okay, let me refresh this page.
I want to identify this username text box. I want to identify this username text box. Okay. Now in that case, what I can give double forward slash input. The same example I am doing now. Open brace at the rate. There are multiple attributes now. Can I give name attribute? Yes, I can give. If if I use type equal to text, it shows three matching nodes. Sorry, two matching nodes. That's why I'm using either placeholder I can use, or else I can use name also. I can use name also. If it shows one matching node, then I can go with name, or else I can go with ID. Whichever the attribute you want, you can use. You can go. But normally, if you have ID and name, you won't identify XPath at all. With the ID or name itself, you will be directly performing the action. Okay, take down this into your notes. This is the export. Next, I want to identify this. Uh, let me go to this uh, careadinformatics.com. I want to identify the XPath for this username text box. How to identify the XPath for this username text box? Right click, inspect, single click on the tag name, press Ctrl F. Now follow my syntax and tell me what is the XPath for this username text box. Double forward slash is very important. Yeah, double forward slash input input open bracket at the rate of at the rate of type equal to text. Yes, but if I give type equal to text, it will show all the text boxes in this page. That's why it is not preferred to go with type equal to text. Okay, next ID. ID equal to U name. It is better to give ID. Take down this. This it will check whether it is one matching node. Then you can take down. Yes, it is showing one matching node. Okay, take down this into your notes. Next, I want to identify this checkbox. How to identify this checkbox? Right click inspect. This is the checkbox. What is the export to identify this checkbox? This is the source code of the checkbox. Tell me. Double forward slash. Double forward slash. Input. Open brace. At the rate, type. type equal to checkbox. If you use right, it will identify all the checkboxes. In that case, what I can do? ID, ID is equal to single quotes, single quotes. REM. REM. Yes. Now in this case I have to use this. Yes. Take down this. Just give me a minute guys. I'll be back.
okay next i want to identify this um, google link how to identify this google link right click inspect how to identify this google link can you tell me what is the expert to identify this google link Yeah. Open rate of. Open rate at the rate of. Why HRF? Why can't I go with class? Yeah, go try, with try. If not, then you can go with HRF. Class equal. Class equal to my class. Done. Yes, I can go with this. It shows one matching node. Type if you use it will identify all the text boxes, but class is yeah. different, right? ID also it will be in all the lines, muscle. Why can't ID won't be repeated? ID it will be unique for each and every element they will give unique IDs. Oh, okay. okay. Take down this X path. In, a, in the previous session, we have discussed about what is single forward slash. What is single forward slash? Single forward slash is used to move from parent tag to child tag. Now we are going to learn about double forward slash. Before that, I want to identify this username text box. How to identify this user? Right click inspect, single click on the tag name and press Ctrl F. Now, what is the X path for this element? If I want to identify this username text box, double forward slash input I give. Double forward slash input identifies all the input tags in this page. It identifies all the seven tags. It identifies all the seven tags. Double forward slash A identifies all the A tags. Double forward slash IMG identifies all the IMG tags in this page. Double forward slash select identifies all the select drop downs in this page. Double forward slash in identifies all the input tags in this page. Double forward slash used in the beginning of the expression, used in the beginning of the expression, followed by the HTML tag, followed by the HTML tag, searches that particular HTML tag in the entire HTML page. Double forward slash used in the beginning of the expression followed by the HTML tag searches that particular HTML tag in the entire HTML page. Take down this into your notes. Now, I don't want all the input tags. In that case, what I need, I need only the input tag. I need only the input tag, which has ID equal to U name. Which has ID equal to U name. That's why what I'm going to do, I'm using square braces. I'm using square braces. Inside the square braces, I'm going to filter inside the square braces i am going to filter only which has id equal to u name double forward slash input open brace at the rate open brace and close brace inside since i am using attributes i am giving at the rate at the rate at the rate id equal to u name 
equal to u name that's it id equal to u name id equal to u name next i want to id now you don't want to remember this syntax also everyone knows how you have understood the syntax if you understand the purpose of double forward slash you can understand the syntax also double forward slash give that html tag it will search that particular uh, particular html tag in the entire html page open brace and close brace inside that i am giving some attributes and i am identifying Next, I need to identify this single select drop down. How to identify this single select drop down? Now, I am not. I, I have removed the syntax. Without the syntax, also you should be able to tell how to identify the xpath for this single select drop down. Can you tell me what is the xpath for this single select drop down? double forward slash select open press and close brace at the rate ct that's it. this is the x path for that id yes this is the x path take down this Now, even though if the page structure changes, also it doesn't matter. Directly it will go and it will pick. You know, pick. If you have that username text box, automatically it will pick. Hello. Yeah. Not okay. Take down. Take down quickly. Yeah, give give single quotes in XPath always. I will tell you why to why not to give double quotes later. See, this is not our end job. We are going to start performing action. While you are performing action, even if you use double quotes, also it will identify. But while you are performing action, it will make some problem. That's why I always use single quotes. Okay. Okay. Next, I want to identify this uh, female radio button. How to identify this female radio button? Right click, inspect. You click on the tag name and press Control F. Yeah, tell me what is the C, uh, X path for this element? Double forward slash input open brace at the rate name equal to gender. I am going to give. If I give name equal to gender, will it shows? Will it identify two matching nodes? Yes, it is identified. But I do not do. I want only this. Female radio button. In that case, what I can give? What I have to give instead of ID attribute? So, yeah, instead of name, give ID, sir. Instead of name, you have to give ID. But sometimes, in rare cases, IDs also might be duplicated with some other elements. That will be same ID for some other elements also. In that case, what, what I have to do? Sir, is there a possibility to give more than one attribute? Is there a possibility to give? I have inside the double forward slash input, identifying all the input tags. Inside the open brace and close brace, I am using only one attribute. Can I use more than one attribute also? Yes, I can use. In that case, I have to, I am, sorry. What I can do here is, and 
at the rate id equal to female i can use one name and i can use one id also i can use both you might ask a question sir in this case if i use only id also it will show only one match you know why are you using both i know that it will show but in real time in real time sometimes there might be a possibility that i have to give more than one attribute also in that case is it possible to give more than one attribute yes it's possible how this is the way how that's why i call this as relative export using attributes not attribute plural i can give more than one attribute also okay take down this example this example is quite different make it quick next i want to identify only this female radio button but imagine that there is no id in that case is it possible to identify only the female radio button there is type attribute or name attribute but there is no id attribute is it possible to identify only the female radio button no no you cannot see some of them will tell sir i can give the number here as 2 if you give like that also it won't okay that's not possible in that case how, how to identify only the female radio button that's that's the goal if you want to identify identify the export like this by using name equal to gender itself but i want only the second one i don't want the first one in that case make the entire export as an object make the entire export as an object which means that put it in a normal brace which means that make it as an object there are two objects out of the take the second one out of the take the second one but the problem here is tomorrow in between these both the radio buttons if they implement male others one more radio button called male others and female in that case will this export will identify the female radio button no this export won't identify the female radio button in that case that's why this is a kind of uh, absolute expert but not completely if you try with attributes if there is no unique attributes worst case you have to use this worst case if there is no other possibility then you have to use this take down this into your notes first try with one attribute then try with multiple attributes then if there is no other possibility then you have to use this objecting concept you have to put it in normal brace and out of the take the first one or second one out of all the eight element locators out of all the eight element locators out of all the eight element locators we will be using xpath only widely because most of the elements will not have id name and it will not be a link also to identify the link text in that case we will use xpath out of that we will never use absolute xpath anywhere in real time we will most widely we will use relative xpath using attribute on attributes relative xpath using attribute 90 percentage of the times we will use this only but if you find any elements with some text if you find some elements with some text it is better to go with text function for example this google link for example this google link this google link is having some text this google link is having some text right click inspect 
this is the source code right click inspect there is a proper opening tag and proper closing tag and in between there is some text and in between there is some text in that case i can go with text function In that case, I can go with text function. Text function. Next, I need to identify this. If you have proper opening tag and proper closing tag and in between if you have some text you can go with text function now i need to identify this please identify yourself right click inspect single click on the tag name and press ctrl f okay now i need to identify this I need to identify this username, uh, sorry, this, uh, please identify yourself. Can I use text function for this element? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Because there is a proper opening TD tag and proper closing TD tag and in between there is some text. In that case, I can use text. First, right click and inspect, see the source code. From the source code, you have to finalize which one to use. See, if I want to identify this element also, I can use attributes also. But it is preferred to go with text function if that element is having some text. Now, I want to identify this login button by using text function. Is it possible to identify this login button by using text function? Yes or no? Right click, inspect. Yes, right click, inspect. See the source code. Is it possible to use text function? No. Why no? There is a proper opening div tag and proper closing div tag and in between there is some text. In that case, why can't I? I can. Understood? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Now, I want to identify this login button by using text function. Is it possible to identify this login button by using text function? Right click inspect first see the source code is it possible to identify this login button by using text function no sir no, no sir. it's it's not possible in that case okay we are going to see the second uh, uh, relative expert now right click on this element inspect now i want to identify this google link by using text function take down the second heading Relate to export using text function and take down the syntax. If you are done, mute a microphone, please. Don't unmute and disturb. Take down this. Yeah. No, for self-closing tax you cannot use it. Okay. There should be a proper opening and proper closing. Then in between, if you have some text, in that case only you can use text function. Okay. Okay. Now, can you tell me what is the expert to identify this Google link? double forward slash a html sorry html tag double forward slash html tag is nothing but a it double forward slash a in the sense it identifies all the a tags in this page it identifies all the a tags but i don't want all the a tags 
inside the square brace earlier i used to use attributes now i am going to use text function is equal to google that's it copy this and paste it that's it take down double forward slash a text function is equal to google next i need to identify this uh, please identify yourself how to identify this please identify yourself right click inspect this is how to identify this please this is the uh, source code now can you tell me what is the export to identify please identify yourself double forward slash td identifies all the tt tags open brace and close brace inside that i am going to use text function if you use attributes i have to give at the rate since i am using text function i am using this okay this is the export and check whether it is showing one matching node take down this into your notes It will show two matching notes. It will show two matching notes. Imagine that if it is showing two matching notes, one if there is one, please identify yourself at the top, and one more at the bottom. If you have something like that, it will show two matching notes. In that case, what I can use if I want only the first one? What I can do? Make it as an object. Very good. Try make it as an object. That is the worst case scenario, as I said. Beyond that, what I can do and at the rate id equal to, I can use one text function and one attribute also. I can use both inside the square braces. I can use like this also. In double forward slash td. Inside the open brace, first I have used attribute. Next, I have used text function. Now I am combining both and I am using. I can do like this also. Take down this. Next, I want to identify this. Uh, login button. How to identify this login button? Can you tell me how to identify this login button? Right click inspect. What is the expert to identify this login button? Double forward slash. Double forward slash. DIV. DIV. 
equal to login but if i give this it is not identifying but the xpath whatever i have given is correct but still if i use this it is not identifying why what is the reason it shows zero matching nodes why what is the reason i am giving you a hint also as well there is some space yes there is one space if you give that space it will identify when you are using text function you have to give exact small letters capital letters spelling special character spaces everything you have to give exactly then only it will identify then only it will identify in that case what you have to give exactly spaces spelling take down this into your notes quickly okay now when you do right click and inspect as soon as you see the element if that element is having some text if that element is having some text i can use text function if the element is having some text i can use text function or else go with attributes okay this is the order first uh, check whether that element is having some text first preference give for text function then go for attributes okay if you are thorough enough with this then we can see the next topic that is contains text and contains attributes okay but before coming before we start the next session we have to be thorough enough with this